Hughes on the inside, trying to get his body shot off, and this is one of the things he did right in the round. Stevens was hot late. Well, they were very aggressive in what they said to Hughes, as you saw, and that sent him running out here for this round. Oh, huge right hand by Stevens, but Hughes just shakes it off. Or does he? Stevens goes after him. Tremendous speed here by Stevens, and Hughes came running out, but he's retreating big. And how much will this take out of Stevens if Hughes can weather the storm? We'll see. They brought this crowd to its feet again in the eighth round. Look at the look on Stevens' face, though. Is he punched out? We'll see. The last minute of round seven was splendid for Stevens. He might have been able to steal the round. He came out big here in the eighth. That's a concentrated spurt. That's a tired man, and you can take your pick as to which one I'm talking about. <laughs> Another mouthpiece. This time, uh, again, second time in the fight. And this, a, a big benefit to Stevens because he gets the rest after expending his energy. And they are taking their sweet time. just kind of meander up the steps. Oh, I, I can't go. find it. Do you know where it is? I don't know. Who left it there? Anthony Stevens, a tired man, but he's had his way in this round. But look, now Hughes is rejuvenated. Let's see what happens. Anthony Stevens had a great beginning to this eighth round. But again, now he's backing himself against the ropes. But lands the right hand and gets himself back into the center of the ring. We haven't seen as much side-to-side -side movement in recent rounds by Stevens. He's been tired. Stevens, a 29-year-old from here in Shreveport, Louisiana, right near Bossier City. Got lots of fans in this crowd, and they are cheering him on right now. He lands right hands to the head of James Hughes. And Stevens had Trinidad on the deck twice and did not win. He's been on the deck himself twice tonight, and he might win this fight. Sort of evens out if he can get this call. Well, he told us this morning there was nothing that James Hughes could do to get to him. He was wrong. Now, that is not a knockdown, I don't believe, is it? It's being ruled yes. one. Maybe it was. Maybe he got nailed with the hook. He's not complaining. Well, is it or isn't it? They started counting, and then they stopped. I have no idea whether that was a knockdown or not. It's a half knockdown. Yeah. A tiebreaker. Good left hand. There's blood from the mouth of Stevens. He's in big trouble. A left hook by Hughes. Hurt him. He's no doubt about that one. Fatigue is big enemy here. Again, the mouthpiece, and again, they give Anthony Stevens all the time in the world. Are they stopping this fight? They should take a point away here for what's happened. That's three times. And Johnny Famia gives him yet another 10 seconds. Big right by Hughes. Again, the right by Hughes. This round is over, and Anthony Stevens, for him, Christmas came early. Let's listen in. had his way early in the round, coming through, landing the big shots, driving Hughes back. Hughes covering up for all he had. Tough moment here for Hughes, but the question being risen, did he punch himself out? Maybe the answer is yes. Late in the round, he's got nothing left, and the big right-hand bomb puts him down. No doubt about that one. He went down earlier in the round. No call. Come on, everybody. That was the third time Anthony Stevens had been down in this fight in the fourth and fifth. He was also down, and as Dave pointed out, maybe he was down also in the eighth. James Hughes comes after him in the ninth round. This one is scheduled for 12, folks. Long way to go for Anthony Stevens, considering how hurt he is. Well, the number.
Spurs in this case may be rendered useless for Stevens because of the knockdowns. The one big shot in each case by Hughes overcoming all of those numbers you see. And even in round eight, remember the great start Stevens had in the round, but Hughes took everything back from him. Hughes going to the body. Stevens unable to get away from him, getting nailed with good right hands. And now Hughes can cut off the ring anytime he feels right. And Leslie Bonanno was ready to stop this fight between rounds. Came very close to it, and Hughes, uh, Stevens was able to talk his way into another round. You've got Hughes ahead because of the three rounds with the knockdowns. He is going to town now on Anthony Stevens. It's for the USBA Welterweight Championship. It's 12 rounds, but it may not go. We're in the ninth. And James Hughes on the left of your screen has had Anthony Stevens in all kinds of trouble in recent rounds. And Stevens also cut nasty around his left eye. He'll have to contend with that too now. The pressure from Hughes starting to get to him. He predicted this. He told us this morning by the later rounds, Anthony Stevens will be tired and I'll get to him. And what he has to get a lot of credit for is sticking with that plan, even though the early rounds were not for him. He came in, he was getting hit, but he stayed that way. And as soon as Stevens slowed down, then Hughes was right on top of it. We see fighters go out of their game plans when they don't work early and they pay a price. Now Hughes is not throwing as many punches as he did before, but he's throwing a lot more than Stevens is last right. round. And he is, as you said, cutting off the ring at will. There's absolutely no problem for him. And every time he cuts off the ring, a light's going on for Hughes. I can punch, I can have this fight right where I want it. One of those left hooks will get in like they did in the eighth round that helped knock down Anthony Stevens. Stevens doing nothing offensively. Oh, huge right help for cut. And it's almost becoming target practice for Hughes, and that's dangerous when you're in against a power puncher. Hughes has 15 KOs in 19 fights. He can punch. Another big round for James Hughes with two left. Can Anthony Stevens survive? That's becoming an important question. Well, James Hughes came here the underdog from Mobile, Alabama. Stevens dismissed him. He's not doing it now. 